this is electric xp light great little bike somewhat small battery which might give you range anxiety which might give you the feeling of being hopeless helpless and powerless pretty much like the first morning after your wedding so in this video i can't help you with your personal life however i'm gonna help you install a second battery and i do suspect that there's going to be a few issues when installing this second battery it's not going to behave like it did when it was stock okay but it might be a good thing that's just what i suspect parts that you absolutely need 48 volt 8 amp hour battery you can get bigger i just stuck with this because i have it it's only five pounds five pounds and here's a double battery balancer with some extensions some adapters watch the video and you'll see exactly what you'll need and you'll need a battery bag you'll need some tools from a tool bag and optional are the fenders and rear rack actually you don't even need fenders and the rear rack is truly optional because take a look right here okay you can actually just fit this bag like this but the downside is that you have to tie it to this uh, seat post and you know you can't lower your seat you know it may be an option for you but for me i'm not sure I'll have to put on the rack just to see how it looks like. All right, we're going to do a makeup mock-up of how this is all going to work. We have these extension cables. And this is a Y, okay? This Y is going to plug into a battery. Let's just say it plugs into this battery, okay? So this is the battery of the electric XP. And this is your extra battery. It plugs in like that. And this one plugs into this controller back here and that's going to give it power equally from each one of these packs that's the idea and so let's get started all right that took way too long and i can save that story for my grandchildren Bruh. okay let's take this sucker apart Let's take a look at the controller. So this is the where the battery mounts to. So just think of it like this. The battery plugs into this right here. There is a T adapter and we're going to split this connection. This thing connects to the that uh, controller in there. And do we need to take it out? Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so here's the balancer. It uses XT60, and I just have a bunch of uh, adapters. And I happen to have that T to XT60 adapter, so I'm going to have to use that. Here we go. So if you remember the mock-up, batteries like this okay the batteries are going to feed into this controller both at the same time that's the mock-up so this is the balancer which make equalizes these batteries and i'm going to see if i could put it in here somewhere and so that means that one one of the cables is going to have to connect to this plug which plugs back into this battery okay and the other one has to be fished out the bottom so let's just do this one first right here all right this is the easy one uh, for the harder one it's going to be the one that fishes outside because I don't know what size it's going to need. So uh, to be safe, I'm just gonna use a longer cable. All right, this is the longest cable I have. It's, it's around 18 inches or so. All right, so there's two heads and I have to pick the right one because I don't want to do this twice. So this one plugs into the balancer and this is the head I have to fish through down here. 
and uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty big opening, so I, I can definitely fish it through. All right, maybe not. That controller, it needs some space. I'm gonna have to pull it out. Back to this troublemaker. Uh, let's see how much trouble it is. Oh, it's, it's not that bad. It's, it just uh, kind of slides out. And it looks like space that I could put that little balancer right here too. Okay, so I made that space. Now let's try to get it through again. So I'm actually going in blind. I can't really see it. I'm just filling it out. Here we go. Okay, I, I'm fishing something through. So I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more. And... Ah, okay, so when you fish this thing, there's a little hole in there and it could get snagged up. But if you fish it good, look at this. Oh, there you go. See? Ha 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 ha, I got it out. And hopefully I put it in the right side. And I did. So this goes right here. And this goes in here somehow. Oh look, it fits. So let's um, just try to shove it all back in carefully. I want to give you a warning. This is the most difficult part of the whole install. It's getting everything back into place again because it is a tight fit and you can bend and you can break cables. Okay. Just be careful. Carefully, carefully. And I'll tell you what is going to be different right now, what I think is going to be different. Uh, you know that electric, you need the key down there to even run your bike, right? Yeah, well, this, you don't need a key. And, and in fact, this bypasses the key because this thing is always going to be on. All right, so I've... I failed a few times already. You might have noticed that I'm struggling to put this back in. So I noticed when you're pushing this controller straight back in, uh, there's some cables and it's not going to go back in like that. You have to lift it. Lift it and then you push it back in so it sits on top of that cable, whatever it is back there. And then you start manipulating these back to the back, to the back, to the back. Yeah, as long as you have a space for this balancer now, since you've just moved everything in, you need quite a bit of space back here. And uh, that's because this darnest thing right here has to fit in. So I nearly made a mistake. Everything actually goes on this stubby little part, this extra bulk goes on this other side uh, it's easy to miss it but there's a minus minus plus plus what I'm trying to do is that you see these cables right here I'm just trying to move everything out of the way so that it can go there without any interference there you go okay so I can see that it's about to go in with no interference, no blockage. There we go. All right, now we're gonna test, we gotta make sure that everything still works. I mean, this mad scientist stuff, who knows, right? Before I even do anything with the dual battery, I need to check if my single battery works still. And uh, turn this on. This isn't attached, all right? No trickery, all right? The moment of truth, if this doesn't work, well, you get your money back, all right? All right, YouTube is free. All right, see? Let's see. Ah, I tricked myself. Have to be in pass one. Okay. I'm still good, I'm still good. Okay, now let's let's turn this off right here. And now we're just gonna remove this, okay. Oh, by the way, yeah, that turns off the bike. I shouldn't have 
whatever. It's already done. What's done is done, right? You can't really undo your kids, right? So here's uh, the battery. And like I was saying, there was going to be a, a little issue because um, when you're, you're running this setup, the battery is kind of always on. So if I plug this on, the bike was, will be on right now, even without keys. That's my theory at least. So let's plug it in. Oh, <laughs> okay, that spark pretty much shows that it's, it's getting fed some power. So if I turn it on, there you go, it is on and uh, it's ready to go. Let's see. Okay, pass one. I'm not even focus. Here we go. It's just running off that battery. I don't even have a key in. So this can take care of this, this really annoying bottom key thing of the electric. And where the heck did I even put the key? All right, now, I get to decide if the battery goes here. It's nice and clean, but I won't have access to this rear rack anymore. Um, can it go here? It can go here. I mean, this is really clean. I think I'm just going to put it like this. Uh, no, actually, no, no. I changed my mind. I am going to put it like this. I'm going to tie it to the rack right here. And that way, my seat can still move up and down kind of and is it interfering with the fender not really so I'll tie it to these things mount it right here so that I can still move my seat up and down or take it apart yeah that's where it's gonna go all right this is looking pretty sweet now so we're just gonna put the battery in and the way it's going to work well, let's just put it in. It's not that much work to put it in, right? So here we go. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to stand it because I don't want the battery to be pressing on these cables back here. I don't want it to sit on here. I mean, I would uh, if I have to, but I don't want to. So it sits in here. And charging cables right here powers right here and we're gonna fish this through here down here because it's nice and clean all right and lucky for me it barely reaches okay it is um, red and black so kind of revealing and uh, if you're okay with that you know I'm gonna tuck this in a little bit more give me a second all right so that tucking action gave me a little bit more space you see it's nice and clean and now I have a little bit more space a few more inches and uh, you know some people would kill for a few more inches right okay, so you know I'm not mr. perfect or anything this thing's only really tied to one side because it's a center um, it, it's supposed to tie on the center, but the, the real strength is right here. These two ones push it downwards, so it's not getting lopped out of there. It's not perfect, it's not pretty. It works. So before I get ahead of myself and do the testing, I wanna show you something really quick. All right. This battery, this charger, this battery, this battery, they all use one charger. Lucky that this eBay battery has the same plug. If you look at here, plugs in here and plugs in here. Well, obviously if it doesn't plug in here, then I got a bigger problem. So same plug, this goes back in here. And it is time to test it out. A great thing, no key needed. Awesome little hack. All 
All right, so it's been a few miles. I had to go pick up an errand for my wife, and here it is. It's an oddball shape. I need this cap. And I have this oddball thing in the back. This is the air pannier. It comes in a bag. However, due to convenience factor, I just tied it all up here. It's uses these rock ties and hopefully I can use it to carry back this odd shaped cap. Okay, let's go. All right, let's talk about this. This battery doubler balancer thingamajig that we've got set up. Okay, what I feel from it so far is that uh, the blow and kick stays forever. That battery sag that you once get with this uh, electric light, it's not quite there anymore. It's, it's gonna take a while before it even reaches that sag, sagging point. Okay, so it feels really good. <laughs> it feels really good knowing that you can go 30 plus miles on this tiny little e-bike. It's just that, you know, going 30 plus miles, that means that you're on this bike for an hour and a half going full speed. So that is a long time. That is a lot of range. Might be too much range. Anyhow, there it is, dual batteries. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, sub, share. See you in the next one.